This is an Appalachian State feature story from the Sun Belt. Every home football game, he can be seen at Kid Brewer Stadium. He's on the field, he's in the stands, he's energetic, and the fans flock to him. His name is Yosef, and he's the mascot of Appalachian State, and he's the heart and soul of the Mountaineers. People take pictures with Yosef. They hug him. But does anyone know the man behind the mascot? Yosef's identity has been a well-guarded secret among the high country. Who is Yosef? Why must he keep his identity a secret? In order to find the answers to these questions, we'd have to do a lot of digging. But the search for Yosef was much more difficult than any of us could have imagined. Listen, I know you can't give me any names. I just need something to work with. Can you just give me anything? No, that, that's not gonna work. Come on, just a little name, something. We already tried that. Come on guys, come up with something else. Finally, a contact agreed to meet us with information. This is pretty weird. This is our guy. Whoa. And just like that, he was gone. But we had the lead we needed. The note the contact gave us provided us with the information to reach out and contact Yosef. It was time to find a safe place to meet and conduct an interview. Yosef, you're a hard man to track down, but I appreciate you coming in and spending some time with us. I do what I care for the fans. How did you become Yosef? I went and talked to the coach, and she was excited to let me do it. And uh, she gave me a trial run in a girls' basketball game. From then, they just kind of kept me on, so I just kind of took the initiative. Did anybody talk to you about maintaining this persona of Yosef or a secret identity? Yeah, yeah. The coach kind of said, you know, Yosef is like, you got to keep that image up. You don't want anybody knowing that, you know, hey, there's actually like a real person over there. It's just like, you don't want to just ruin Yosef's image. He's supposed to be this, you know, icon for app. You don't want him to be focused on the guy under it, but yeah. on the guy himself. Protecting Yosef's image isn't the only thing that's important. It takes a lot of prep work to take on the role. I get up here about three or four hours before the game, tailgate and everything, go on the seventh floor of the stadium. And I just sit there and I get pumped. I just start dancing. I start playing me some hype music. I get in the outfit and I dress out and I just sit there for a minute. And I just start dancing around, getting hype. As soon as I put that mask on, I'm not myself anymore. Like, I completely get into character. Like, I don't break character. That's just not what you're supposed to do. So as soon as that helmet comes on, I'm hyped and I'm ready to go. When do you think you'll stop being Yosef? You never stop being Yosef. <laughs> That's my answer. I mean, uh, it's too fun to give up. You know, I'm a goofy kid. I'm an outgoing guy. I like to have fun. I like to make people laugh. And I like people to be happy all the time. So, I mean, what better way to affect so many people here at App? Are you ready to tell the world your real name? I think it's about time. <laughs> All right, all right, hi, my name is and I am the Mountaineer Yosef. Go Appalachian, baby. There you have it. Now you know why Yosef's identity must remain hidden from the world. Some of life's greatest mysteries are the ones that go unsolved. But know this, if you're on the campus of Appalachian State, Yosef is among you. To find him, you'll have to do a little digging of your own. <laughs>